Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ninja X21. Coming to you guys with another video. Today is going to be like a Fortnite locker tour and like a uh, me talking about the uh, this season, Chapter Four, Season Three, I believe. Um, we just going to be basically going over that while we just go through these skins in our locker. If you guys continue to enjoy the content, you already know what to do. Like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. We'll start from up top here. So I wanted to basically talk about uh, this season. I think this season was a disaster, an absolute disaster. Like, and like, is is in my opinion too. I mean, I guess, um, I guess, I guess, like, in my opinion, that's how I I see it. I honestly didn't really enjoy this season all too much. From the beginning, it was all right, but then they just started changing some things. It was. It was like the loot pool was already and everything, and then that loot pool gets absolutely ridiculous. Like I don't know if it's just me or not, but zero building battery out need, going forward needs to have their own separate loot pools, man. Like this is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to this game. Like it's so it's certain things that need to change for each mode. Not the same loot pool is not going to work for each mode, and I can already see that based on. Uh, you know, basically playing it throughout the season. It's probably the most Fortnite I played in maybe the last two chapters, uh, to be completely honest. I will say that I played the most because I wanted to go ahead and finish the season because I was I was already burnt out. So I stopped playing it for a few weeks and then got on again and then I actually got the two hundred. Um I was I was doing everything I can to get the two hundred as well, like um, I still I still got to play the game because level up quest packs and stuff like that is out. But like as far as just trying to play it every day it is something I am not trying to do at all. Um, that That is just something on a whole complete different scale of a level. And I don't know. Last season, I liked zero build. I like playing zero build a lot. But this season, I had to uh, eventually switch back to builds because zero builds does not feel fun at all. I like the fact... I like the fact that uh you know it was less mobility but at the same time I feel like I feel like me complaining about mobility and m us finally getting like barely any mobility this, this season as far as like items to go around the map with it kind of just it kind of just changed my whole perspective of how I felt about mobility um yeah we definitely need more of it in zero build a little less of it in battle royale in my personal opinion um, I just feel like that has to be done. I don't know why you wait till the end of the season to add basically a grapple, uh, a grapple gun or something like that to get around the map with. I don't, I don't get, I don't get why you wait all the way to the end of the season to go ahead and do that. Absolutely insane. Like, there's so many things, man, with this game that I like, like, and I dislike at the same time. It's, it's, it's just a mix between the two. The item shops is lackluster this season, in my opinion. The battle pass, I only like, I only particularly like one skin, but some of the editor styles kind of back that up uh, to to the point where it's like, okay, I'll rock it for a game, and then I just, you know, that'd be it for me. Um, it's not too many things I like about this this uh, this season at all. Uh, the theme of it, the story, I feel like the story is just completely gone in this game uh, obviously you know something is going around around the map you see those radios or something you have to click on and then you can hear what's going on i don't i don't understand it to be completely honest i don't i don't, I don't really understand what is uh, what exactly is supposed to happen all i know is something is supposed to happen sooner or later uh, i just i just never really got it for some reason um I don't know. The whole perspective of this game is changing. I mean, I'm gonna still play it. It's gonna be my ride or die uh, type of game. I'm not gonna just gonna be like uh, everyone else and try to jump on the next bandwagon of a game that comes out because that's just something I don't do. Um, I was on Call of Duty for a while until I got burnt out from. Well, it's not even being burnt out from Call of Duty. It's just to the point where Fortnite came out. Fortnite was hot. Fortnite was popular. Black Ops Three was um, not really up to date it was kind of like getting old because it was 2015 
and Fortnite and um, got really popular 2018, 2019. And I just been basically playing that ever since and spent my money, spent my time and everything on this game. And I just want to see it succeed. I don't really want to bash it. I don't really want to uh, take this game to, to the point where I'm just like, oh, I hate it and stuff like that. One of the better, uh, be best games of all time, in my opinion, one of the best consumer-friendly games of all time, um, as in this game, because they come out with deals and stuff for certain skins, and they they just they just sell out different things for this game that other games don't do. A lot of a lot of uh, games want to lock things um, behind a little bit too much. Um, number one being Overwatch, I don't really like the way they do that battle pass. Um, you gotta really spend. You gotta really spend money. You don't really get anything back. Like talking about, um, at least as far as I know, the last time I played Overwatch, it's kind of one of the reason why I got off. You can't really earn um, anything, any credits really to get those skins. Um, I, I believe I do have credits on Overwatch. I do want to go back and play it because I did enjoy it to a extent because it gave me something else to go ahead and sink my teeth into, something else to play. Um, and it's something I might go back to in the future. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. Um, there's a bunch of things that I'm doing right now. I'm playing Spider-Man. I'm on the 360 playing Dance Central. Got some videos on X1 on plays. I'm on release later on today. Um, going to, uh, I played a Wii with my cousins. We was just playing Super Mario yesterday. Um, it's, it's just so many things that I would rather do than just, to load up to a Fortnite game and just not enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I will play throughout the season until I get level 200. But once I'm level 200, I'm just completely done. That's just another thing that's just getting to me when it comes to this game. Being level 200, you got to go from level 1 to 100 to just get everything in the Battle Pass in general anyway. But when you got to go to 100 to 200 and how long and how time-consuming that is as it's it's not been the good luck and it's not have it's not it has not made me happy at all playing this game and um i'm not gonna leave it for any particular reason like i said but I, i'm just i'm just saying this is it's getting to a point where i'm just gonna just start playing other things when i'm getting done with the battle pass um I would make any like any other kind of content on this channel, but I kind of just told myself I just kind of wanted to do Fortnite on this channel. I want to do Road Company content, but I'm doing Dance Central on my X101 Plays channel. I got to complete all the songs that I want to do in that game. And a lot of that is frustrating because uh, my Connect sensor doesn't really want to pick up some of my dance moves sometimes when I'm playing that. So it takes a long time for me to bring out the videos. Uh... Uh, for the people that want to watch that content, which a lot of people uh, watch my content on on the, that channel more than this channel, so I just been kind of just focused on that for a while until I took a three week break. Now I'm kind of just back into it, and I'll probably upload more uh, today on there and more tomorrow. Three videos on there today and three videos tomorrow, and then we'll probably just move on. I am honestly hyped though because I feel like I can make something out of that channel rather than this channel at the moment. I'm not trying to doubt this channel. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, I guess put um, doubt any type, any kind of doubt, any type of like uh, miss hope for this channel. I, w I really want this channel to do well. I mean, I got 320 subscribers. I feel very appreciative. For the people who went ahead to this channel and subscribed, uh, I am very grateful for the ones that did. It's just a little hard, man, when you just see no views pick up and stuff like that. Which, I didn't really make this channel for a lot of views to pick up anyway. But now I want us to see more than ever because a lot of people that live around me, it's hard to be successful around here. And uh, I kind of just want to show people that even someone like me from where I live and how I live, um, can really do this too. I, I'm really hoping that I can. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little convo I had about this season and basically how I want to just try to get my YouTube content as really, I just, just on a high note. 
something um, that I've been wanting to do since, I guess, I've been playing Black Ops 3. I've been wanting to do YouTube for a while, and this is the biggest opportunity that I have, and it's just something that you got to put a lot of time into. You're not going to really see everything grow in one day because that's just not how, not how it works. That's not how anything works, you know? You can't be lazy and just expect things to happen, which I have been lazy, and I blame myself for it. Like, I should have been really on this, and I probably would have had a lot more subscribers than I have now. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys probably on the next podcast tomorrow. I guess we'll do a podcast uh, tomorrow. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.